Welcome. There's nothing more important than to be able to get oxygen into the lungs so the cells of your body can stay healthy. But we have to pay attention to our rib cage because there are muscles, particularly the external intercostal muscle, that when it contracts, it expands our ribs so we can inhale to get that oxygen into our lungs. But the problem is from poor posture, from rounded shoulders, we are limiting our inspiration. And obviously we are limiting oxygen to the cells of our body. Yes, breathing exercises are extremely important, but by looking at the biomechanical neuromuscular part of the body, the rib cage, we wanna make sure that that is working correctly. And what I'm gonna share with you today are specific techniques and exercises to get them working more efficiently. The end result, more oxygen into your lungs as the rib cage can expand much easier so the cells, tissues, glands of your body can work at their most optimal level. So as you can see here between each rib are those intercostal muscles. And those are the muscles that's helping you get that life oxygen into your cells of your body. So we're first going to work the intercostal muscles to open it up, to stretch it open, to allow that rib cage to feel nice and free and light so you can breathe much easier. Very simple. We're gonna take a deep breath. As we take a deep breath, we bring our arms up and we reach up high as we can, as high as we can and far back as we can. We really wanna stretch all this open. And then what we'll do, we'll grab one, one wrist Okay, our right hand's grabbing my left wrist, and then we'll pull over to the right side. And with this arm helping, you guide it. And as you pull over, you'll blow out like this. <sighs> but when you pull over to the side, it's very important that you hold those hands as high as you can, because the higher you hold those hands towards the sky, the more stretch you're going to get within the rib cage. So we're gonna do three on both sides, okay? Follow along. We take a nice deep breath. Right hand grabs the left wrist, blow it out, and keep those hands high and go to the right. Feel that nice stretch, hold it there a few seconds, and come back. Again, grab the left wrist, blow it out. Beautiful, nice stretch, bring the arms down. Deep breath, grab the left wrist, pull it over to the right, blow it out. Feel that nice burn and stretch, beautiful. Now we're gonna do the other side. Remember, keep those hands as high as you can during this exercise. You're really gonna get that great stretch. Now, as we breathe in, we wanna really get that oxygen into our lungs because it will help strengthen our lungs at the same time. Here we go. So this time I'm gonna grab my left hand on my right wrist and pull over to the left side. Here we go. Try to blow all your air out. Feel that nice burn. Excellent. So now we're gonna move around the rib cage, along those muscles along the spine, particularly between our shoulder blades. We're going to focus on the back part of the rib cage by stretching open those muscles. As we stretch open that area, you're gonna feel a lot of relief. You're gonna feel everything become nice and loose where you're gonna have lots of mobility. You're going to need to keep your gym shoes on or some rubber shoes. We're going to need a ledge, something we can hold on to. Preferably a stool as well because we wanna push ourselves back or you can use a chair, but you'll slide it back with your feet. 
Okay, you're gonna love this. I want you to grab the ledge, sit on the chair, and push yourself back until everything is nice and tight in your arms and your shoulders. What you're gonna do, you're gonna drop your head down between your arms. And as you hold onto the ledge, you're gonna take your feet and push the chair back and keep pushing back. And as you're seated, as you're seated down, as your feet are pushing back, as your head is down, you'll feel the entire posterior chain, that whole back part of the thoracic spine between the shoulder blades, as well as those ribs is totally distract. Just sit down, relax, and just breathe through it. And hold that there a good 30 to 45 seconds. And just feel everything open up. Take nice deep breaths. Blow it out. Let everything fall, relax. And just breathe normally. And just let, let everything fall as those muscles relax. You'll feel like you're sinking down as you feel stretching along the upper back area. As you push back a little more with the feet, keep pushing back, drop the head, drop the chest down. You'll feel more of a stretch. And you can hold that again up to 30 to 45 seconds and then you will release. So the last part of this technique is we're gonna be in a similar position as we just were with no chair. And keep the arms locked out, but I do not want your feet further back than your shoulders. Don't do this, okay? You wanna keep it pretty much in line with your shoulders. Spread them out, the feet. And what we're gonna do here, you're gonna just lean back, you're gonna drop your buttocks, and you're gonna pull the buttocks back behind you, straight back. Drop your head and just pull it straight back and you'll feel a little lower stretch, the lower rib cage. You'll still feel in the mid back, but you'll feel all the way down the lower back area. This will open the disc. This is a very good decompression. Even if you have low back pain or any type of herniated disc, this is something that can actually open the disc up and give you lots of relief anywhere along that spine. Keep pushing that buttocks backwards. Relax the neck. This is really elongating the whole spine, stretching the muscles along the spine. Those muscles in the mid back go through the lower back and attach to the pelvis. This can give you lots of relief all the way down, but this is really gonna open up the rib cage as we're stretching those erector spinal muscles. And after about 45 seconds or so doing this, you will release and that is going to help you. Now I am very proud of you because I know you try to complete all those exercises, but most important is that form. You don't have to be a superhero to get results. Just make sure you stretch the point to what's comfortable for your body. And as you continue to do these stretches over time, your mobility is going to get better and symptoms you may have been experiencing for long times will probably go away as well. But this technique will help that rib cage to expand so much easier, allowing you to feel lighter as you get more oxygen into your lungs so you can stay healthier. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below because there will be many. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.